It's a tale as old as time. Generations upon generations have obsessed over finding ways to maintain their youth, from creams and diets to surgeries and laser treatments. Yeah, another solution could be a lot closer than you think. Scientists at Harvard have cracked the code to aging. Our health expert, Dr. Pyle Coley, joins us this morning to talk a little bit more about exactly what scientists have discovered here. Tell us more, doctor. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. <laughs> I could not stop reading this article. So they first, what they did is they actually tried to accelerate aging. So they took my um, and they changed not their DNA, but the way the DNA was turned on and off. And mm. what they found is that they aged them twice as fast as their actual biological age. So once they understood how that process works, they said, okay, let's reverse it and see if we can slow down aging. So they took mice that were completely blind, injected some what's called stem cells, which are cells that can become, you know, any type of cell, and kind of engineered or programmed their DNA in a different way, and the mice regained their vision. Whoa. And they, this worked for brain cells, it worked for kidney cells, it worked for muscle cells, and it worked for the entire mouse as well. So this was just a really incredible breakthrough. I mean, so this is done in mice. What does the future look like for humans? Why is this such a big deal? Basically, how soon can we get it? <laughs> well, we are actually decades away from it. But really, I think the reason that this is such a big deal is because it changed the way that we think about aging. Mm. So we used to always think in the scientific community that aging is a problem with the hardware, with our DNA. And as the DNA replicates, it accumulates junk or accumulates mutations, and there's nothing you can do about that. But what we've now realized based on these studies is that it's actually a software issue issue, not a hardware issue. So it's the epigenetics. It's not the DNA itself, but the way that it's turned on and off, which can be affected by inflammation, by stress, by sleep, by smoking, by a lot of the things that we do. And if we can reprogram that, the way that the DNA is expressed, we can actually reverse the aging. And so the other piece of this is, of course, that they found out that there's actually a, a backup copy, a software reset that's inside all of us. And so if you think about restoring your computer to its factory condition when it's starting to kind of act slow and not do what it's supposed to do, that's essentially what these scientists are doing. They're using that backup copy to sort of say, okay, let's reset your programming so that your DNA kind of turns on the way that it was supposed to when you were younger and gets rid of all the junk that you've accumulated based on our bad behavior. This is awesome because you're right. And you've been the one to talk to us a lot about make sure we're hydrating enough, wearing our sunscreen, things that we can tangibly do. But that's exactly what it's doing. It's changing our software. It's kind of giving us that update to make sure we're not getting those mutations. I think a lot of people are going to want to know what challenges lie ahead with this research for these doctors? Yeah, so we have to be careful, right? Because when we're starting to change the biological clock and reverse aging, could we reverse it so much so that we can create cancers and tumors mm. and other types of things? We want to do it in a way that you're not, you know, reversing the aging on the body faster than the brain mm. because you don't want to have a young body and an old brain. So we have to figure out how to do it in a way that delivers it evenly to the entire body. That reset occurs everywhere in all the tissues, not in one space specific one. And the other thing this lab is doing that I thought was really interesting is hitting that reset button over and over again. How many times can we do that? Mm. Can we reverse aging? Could we every five years go for our reverse aging reprogramming? And now they're starting to look at primates, which are monkeys, so that it's sort of a pre-human trial. Uh, so it's still a little ways away from us. But Jordan, I really love the point that you made, which is that we can reverse aging today yeah, yeah. without waiting for this discovery by cleaning up our life. Well, also, it sounds like we're going to have to do it without waiting for this discovery. <laughs> it's going to be a away. while. <laughs> well, we might be 100 when it comes out, and then we would be 50. So then it just off. reverses us. <laughs> yeah, <right. laughs> Benjamin Buttons, you know? That's right. So it sounds like even though, so they did it in mice, the next thing is in primates, and that could be a while. So this could be a little far off. Yeah, so for us as humans, probably decades. Yeah. Um, and, and, and as you can imagine, we would want to be rigorous about yes. it before this is something we launched on a widespread yeah. fashion. But I think the idea that we've discovered literally the secret to what causes us to age and the fact that it's reversible, these are incredible breakthroughs that yeah. for decades we have thought we couldn't do anything about. And, and we can, you know, we talk about cosmetic treatments and all of that kind of mm -hmm. stuff. We could obviously start to launch some of this with our skin cells, with some of the other things that are easier yep. than necessarily our brain or our organs, which will take a little bit more kind of scientific breakthrough. We're getting to the point that eventually you're going to show up to the doctor and the doctor's going to say, well, did you try turning them off and on them? <laughs> <laughs> and on again? That's right. That's right. But our behaviors can do that every day. Yeah. So we clean up our act, we hydrate, we exercise, we eat whole grains. All of that changes the software. It hits little mini resets every single day. I love that. So really let's take, you know, healthy living seriously because that's how we stay young. Hard 
hard Drink reset is way down the road, but we can do many resets now. I love how you sent us a bunch of topics and we were like, reverse aging. That's the one we want to talk about today. That's the one we want to know about. Yes. Dr. Very Gordon. interesting. Thank, Thank you. you.